Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Green Inks comparison, and this is the Green Inks comparison video number three. So I think let's go and swap some inks. So I think let's take a look at the first ink, Diamine Teal. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And this is a teal ink. So it is sort of kind of between a blue and a green ink, I would say. So this is Diamine Teal. The next ink is Monteverde USA, and this is California Teal. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is a little bit more on the greener side. Do a little bit more ink here, just to let it try and pull a little bit more. So this is Monteverde and it's California Till. But that is a lot more of a greener ink than I would say a teal ink is. And then we have Ackermann and this is Dutch Masters. So this is the Dow's Emerald Grown. So we'll do an ink swatch here. I do find this one is again a little bit more on the drier side. So we'll do a second pass here. So this is Ackermann, Dutch Masters, and it's Dow's Emerald Gron. I believe Gron is green. The next one is Sailor Gentle and this is Yamadori. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now I always thought that this was supposed to be a green ink but it to me is more of a blue ink I would say. I guess it's kind of in between but I'd say it's more of a blue than a green ink. I believe this is supposed to be more of a teal ink. So this is Sailor Gentle and it's Yamadori. But for me that's more of a bluer ink. And just looking at the box they do say that it's Sailor Ink Bottle Gentle Ink Yamadori Blue Green. So for anybody that follows me and says that that's a blue ink, it's a blue-green ink, but I still think it's more of a blue than a green. It's more of a, a greeny blue rather than a bluey green. Now the next bottle is Diamine O de Nil. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, I would say that this is a little bit more of a similar blue green or a green blue. So this is Diamine. And it's O de Nil. The next ink bottle here is Pelican Edelstein Aqua Marine. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Do another pass because I find also this tends to not always be a wet ink. And typically I find Pelican Edelstein inks to not be that wet. They tend to be a little bit more on the dry side. So this is Pelican 
Edelstein and it's Aqua Marine. And again, that's again a little bit more of a bluey ink. The next ink is Diamine Aqua Lagoon. So we'll do an ink swatch here. And again, this is more of a blue, I would say, than a green. But I feel I would add this one here. But it's a little bit more bluish than, than the rest of the inks, I would say. So we'll do a writing sample here. So it's Diamine. And it's Aqua Lagoon. You could really say that that's probably a little bit more on a turquoisey coloured ink. The next ink is Pilot Hiroshizuku Kujaku. And you can see here that is a little bit more of a greeny colour. Although, again, <laughs> I kind of would say that this is a little bit more on the blue side. So, let's do an ink swatch. This is quite a wet ink. We'll do a second pass as well and just see what the shading properties are like. So this is Pilot Iroshizuku and it is Kujaku. But that is actually quite a nice green ink or greeny blue, bluey green ink. And then the final ink is Pilot Oroshizuku, and this is Sayo Ro. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this does seem quite saturated. We'll do a second pass just to see. So this is Pilot Oroshizuku, and it's Sayo Ro. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So we have Diamine Teal, which is actually a very, very dark green, very dark teal. And it's an ink that I bought very early on in my fountain pen uh, collection of inks. And it was very quickly an ink that I didn't like. And it's an ink that I really haven't used much. Uh, I do use it now and again, but not that sort of often. The next one is Monteverde California Teal, which does actually have quite a bit of shading going on there as well. Uh, this is sort of a sort of a midi, sort of almost like a midpoint bluey green ink. And then we have Ackermann's Dutch Masters Dow's Emerald Grown. Now this one, if you can see, not only does it have shading, but it does have a little bit of sheen going on there. You can just about see it there, a little bit of red sheen. Not a lot though. And then we have Sailor Gentle Yamadori. And this is a very dark teal, but you'll see here, if I can catch the light just right, it will have a lot of sheen. There you go. You can see that red sheen there. It's quite a lot of sheen. And then we have Diamine O'Donnell. And that has a lot of shading, but again, it does have some sheen going on. It's very, very faint sheen, but it's a little bit of a sheen. And then we have Pelican Edelstein Aqua Marine. And to be honest, this is actually one of the more sort of really green inks that I do like uh, in this sort of page here of inks. And then we have the last three inks, Diamine Aqua Lagoon, which really is more of a bluey, greeny sort of, I guess it's more of a like a lagoon uh, colour. Uh, it's luscious blue waters with some green in it uh, that's coming through. It's mostly blue though, I would say, rather than green. But you can see here in the writing sample, it does look a little bit more on the greener side. We have Pilot of Oshizuku Kujaku, and 
then also Pilot Washizuku Sayo Ro. Now, if I show you these, these inks are also sheening inks, not a huge amount, but you can see just a little bit there, if I can get it on camera, you can see those around where the ink is pooling, there is some sort of red sheen going on, on both of those. Now, I would say that those inks are very, very similar. I guess the Iroshizuku Kujaku is a little bit more of a greeny O'Donnell style sort of ink in terms of the writing sample, maybe a little bit darker. And then Sayo Ro, I would say, is a little bit more uh, on the writing sample towards the diamine teal up here. So although the actual ink samples are, the ink swatches are actually showing a completely different colour. So that's my green inks comparison number three video. If any of these green inks you like, do let me know in the comments below. Also, if there are any green inks that you like that I haven't shown in any of these green inks comparison videos, then again, do let me know in the comments below because I will be very interested to see what green inks that you are using. So that's my video of the green inks comparison number three. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.